coast, the ball dropped in New York's Times Square to mark the beginning of 2001. And despite the bad weather, an estimated half million revelers showed up. Boxing legend Muhammad Ali joined New York City Mayor Rudy Giuliani to press the button that brings the shimmering ball down. Atlanta dropped a peach as the clock struck 12. New Year's Eve celebrations in Georgia may have been a bit muted this year. Blue laws prohibit package sales of alcohol on Sundays. And most restaurants and bars are prohibited from serving alcohol after midnight. People around the globe are ringing in the new year, and for purists, the start of the new millennium. This was the scene in Moscow as the clock struck midnight. Earlier, President Vladimir Putin told citizens, not everyone is sharing in the country's benefits, but it is becoming more stable. China brought in the new year with a computerized laser show and fireworks in Beijing, along with a mass wedding at the Great Wall. President Jiang Zemin spoke of hopes for reunification with Taiwan, while the Communist Party declared itself the only force fit to lead China, and police in Tiananmen Square were quick to silence a few protesters. Sydney, Australia was one of the first to greet 2001. In a scene reminiscent of last year's celebration, officials put on a fireworks extravaganza from the Sydney Harbour Bridge. And Japan literally rang in the new year. Buddhists sounded temple bells 108 times in a tradition thought to drive out sins. In Paris, planners bathed the Eiffel Tower in blue light this year to go with the big fireworks show. The city center is lit up in what's being called a cathedral of light. In Berlin, music and fireworks went off around Victoria Column as thousands cheered at the strike of midnight. And in London, the celebration was smaller than usual after the city decided to take it easy this year and discourage people from coming to Trafalgar Square, a New Year's hotspot. Pope John Paul II says he hopes the new millennium brings all nations peace, justice, brotherhood, and prosperity. Tens of thousands gathered in St. Peter's Square to hear the 80-year-old pontiff deliver a New Year's message and blessing. Fireworks went off behind him as he spoke and offered a special prayer to the world's youth. So before it can be enforced. Hanging, dimpled, or pregnant, the ruling is in. Chad has got to go. That election hanger-on was the most nominated for exile on the 2001 banished word list. The list was compiled by Lake Superior State University in Michigan. In fact, many of the banished words and phrases come from the 2000 campaign. Take, for instance, fuzzy math, negative growth, and manual recount by hand. Many people also want dude, diva, begs the question, and have a good one erased from the English language. Dot com, leverage, and heads up are some of the most reviled business terms. And a word that's very close to our hearts here at Headline News, factoid, is also on the banishment wish list. 62 students from China, Japan, and South Korea capped the year by tipping over what had taken them a month to set up. Actually, it only took one ceremonial flip to begin knocking down about 3,400,000 dominoes they had arranged on a Beijing gymnasium floor. It broke the existing record of just under 3 million and provided some fancy effects in the process. More New Year's celebrations from around the world coming up throughout the night. We'll check top stories in just a minute. But first, today's edition of Your Health. The first of the year, it's the official day to usher out the old and ring in the new. Garrick Utley looks at how the real millennium is shaping up. When the sun rises on January 1st, it will be, to be mathematically precise, the first day of a new millennium. So what does that make 2000? For those who believe that it's not the sun, but money that makes the world go round, it's not been a stellar year. Not with those new economy dreams of internet wealth bursting like bubbles, not with the market headed down. 
Invest in the old economy, many money managers intone. But what is old and what is new? When, for example, online AOL gains control of traditional offline Time Warner, owner of CNN. Perhaps in the new year, words such as new and old may come to seem a bit overused, as we realize that even change, another popular overused term, may not be changing as much as we think. For example, that man in the hat in Baghdad has not changed. And when Saddam Hussein looks to the United States in 2001, he will see many of the same people and the son of the president who led the war to defeat him 10 years ago back in power. In the coming year, as in this one, the limits to change will be all too human. Conflicts rooted in history and nurtured by the downward spiral of violence. Perhaps that is why in 2001, we will continue to look at the promise of science for a better life. Now that we have cloned a sheep and genetically engineered a bull to resist disease, how about we humans? In 2001, brain scientists will push their work on a pill to fight loss of memory as people age. They expect to have it ready in the next five years. A sort of Viagra for the mind. And speaking of loss of memory, let's not forget that what is 2001 in one calendar is 1422 in another, the Islamic, and 4699 in the Chinese, and 5762 in the Jewish calendar. Viewed from those perspectives, January 1st is just another day. Still, when Arthur C. Clarke wrote and Stanley Kubrick filmed 2001, A Space Odyssey, the year captured people's imagination, even if the science was fiction. I am putting myself to the fullest possible use. Computers do not yet control humans, and the human space odyssey today is limited to orbiting our small planet. The real odyssey will continue in the real 2001 as it has for millennia, down there, on and in an Earth, constantly offering surprises that no New Year's forecast can hope to predict. Garrick Utley, CNN, New York. Coming up on Late Watch, the world celebrates the beginning of 2001. I'm Loretta Lepore. Happy New Year from the whole team here at CNN Headline News. <laughs> Headline News, the Get to the Point News Network, powered by CNN.